capacities. Um, but on the question of decolonization, so to me, decolonizing development and foreign policy of one's country means acknowledging and addressing perpetual systems of dependency through financial or ideology, ideological means, means, like flat out. So challenging systems of power, but we also have young people and students, so I'll break it down a little bit, but you know, decolonization, you're talking about things that are taking place at the institutional, the organizational, and the individual level. Um, last July, Foreign Policy had published this article entitled How Diasporas Can Help Decolonize the State Department. And to me, that was just a striking statement because at the core, this article was arguing that personnel is policy. If an institution is dominated by a monolithic population, a particular perspective, or a school of thought in both discussion and decision-making, how does that affect our foreign policy? And we cannot be out here talking about decolonizing efforts in other nations without addressing the challenges that we are facing at home with communities of color in the US. So one thing I would tell young professionals on this topic is challenge your own assumptions, of course, and challenge them regularly. So what may apply in our country or your region or um, your sphere or your community may not apply in other communities or countries uh, with very different cultures and, and norms.